sugar boo welcome back to a, another video here on my channel so tonight i am switching it up just a little bit i'm not doing a tutorial mainly because my hair needs a break from all the hairstyling and my girls are kind of sick of me doing their hair as well so for this tonight's video i'm going to be doing a reaction but a reaction video to one of my very first viral uh, tutorials here on YouTube. I don't know what it is about the end of the year, but it just makes me want to reflect on my growth and just how much I've changed over the last couple of years or in the last year. I mean, it's just crazy. And then my journey with YouTube has definitely been, been challenging for me. So revisiting how I first started versus how I'm going now, just like it's an eye opener of just how amazing it is as well as how challenging it was. So this was when I did Passion Twist for the very first time. We're going to go ahead and watch this tutorial and um, yeah. So. <laughs> so yeah, already the freaking intro old as hell. Like I cannot believe this used to be the intro. So before putting up the pom-poms, the channel was called Pom Pom Sisters. Um, it was named after my girls. And it was supposed to be mainly their channel of me doing their hair. And then I ended up kind of taking over. <laughs> and my face looks so small. Like, this is when I was like really, really skinny. Like, it's insane how small I was. I just like a baby. I really thought I was doing something too. Y'all saw that transition? <laughs> I thought I was doing something with that transition. You couldn't tell me nothing. <laughs> so when I first like started posting on YouTube I had a girlfriend like watch all of my videos and kind of like critique me on what I could work on and you know better myself in my next video and one of the videos or this video when she watched it she was just like why the hell do you keep looking down like what the hell are you looking down at and I had to tell her like I was so nervous recording and I'm like I'm not in a crowd or anything it's just me and the camera in the room I was so nervous of recording this like talking to the camera that I didn't know what to say I kept choking on my words I kept like just spacing out like it was nerve-wracking and um I, I had to write it down like I had to get out my journal and literally hand write out what I was going to say and what I wanted to talk about in the video and all of my key points that I wanted to go over like literally an entire script and I had the script laying down on, on my desk and so I'm like looking down trying to remember like what I'm gonna say and it was oh god it was awful like that's just how uncomfortable I was with sitting in front of a camera like it's crazy now it's like it's nothing <laughs> Like, I really look like a baby. I look like I'm like 16 years old. Like, I can see why people would be shocked that I said I had three kids. Oh, my hair is so long. Oh my gosh, it is so long. And I cut it all off. Well, I mean, for health reasons, I had to cut it off, but that's insane. Yeah, I remember this technique when I was editing, like I would do like a voiceover and then go back to me like sitting, talking about it. Kind of, I tried to do like, um, I went to like sample like reality TV shows, how, you know, you'll see them in reality and then they'll go over to like the, the monologue of them talking to the camera. Like I was trying to do that here. I don't even know if it was successful, but you know, I thought I was doing something. <laughs> Now I just do my voiceovers because those are just so much more easier and I can kind of like watch the video and know what I'm going to talk about and, you know, kind of talk through what I'm doing or what I'm showing. Um, and I guess that's what made it difficult with editing this because I'm trying to remember all that I did or all that I recorded and just kind of like edit it together to fit and yeah. Mm, shout out to them thin edges still going strong honey <laughs> I remember when I recorded that scene of me showing the two twists like I was so nervous that 
because you know, my job, I still work at a regular job. And at the time, like everyone had their eyes on my YouTube channel and I was afraid someone was going to critique it and like report it for something. I did eventually get reported for what I posted on here, but it wasn't for this video. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I remember I was so nervous because I was like, oh my gosh, it's nothing but boobs in the camera. Somebody's going to like report me for like sexually harassing the camera or something. Like my job is just like tedious. Like, oh God. And so... You know, I guess I've been doing it long enough that they've finally, like, stopped watching every damn thing that I do. But, yeah, that was a dilemma in itself. <laughs> you yeah, know, look, looking back on this, um, when I was trying to tell people that the twists went and the curls went had different patterns to it, like some of them were counterclockwise and some were clockwise um i don't know if that was bs or not but to me it made complete sense <laughs> it made complete sense i knew exactly what i was talking about i mean i don't know honey it worked i guess <laughs> gosh no, i'm so monotone too like i hate my voice like i remember that being like my biggest like I was so uncomfortable with talking because of that. I hated the way my voice sound. I just feel like I have such a deep voice and a lot of people just don't picture my voice being that way, I guess. I don't know, honey. And then, I don't know. It's just something about listening to yourself where you're just like, like, shut up. Like, that's really, that's why I can't rewatch any of my tutorials. Every tutorial that I've ever posted on my YouTube, like, I've never watched after I've posted it. Like, that's it. It's one and done for me. I don't go back. Like, I mean, I watched it so many times editing it that once it's posted on YouTube, mm -mm, I, I don't want to rewatch it. I don't want to see it. So this is literally my first time watching this entire tutorial in two years, like ever since I posted it. <laughs> Shout out to my old uh, freaking uh, <laughs> crochet needle. That thing was hanging on for dear life. It didn't even have an end to it. Oh my goodness, now I'm like swamped with crochet needles. Like, I get free crochet needles with every freaking hair person now, so. And I was using that broken ass one. Like, embarrassing. Embarrassing. <laughs> like, it's crazy how slow I talk. Like, now, my tutorials now, like, I'm, I'm giving it to you. Like, yes, yeah, sis, you need to do this, this, this. Boom, done. Thank you guys for watching. Like, I'm literally taking three minutes to tell you how to twist. Yeah, no, I don't I don't have the time to, to hold hands anymore. I just be like, look, honey, if you need a slower tutorial, I'm not the, the channel you need to be on. <laughs> like, I also want to give a shout out to my eyeshadow because, like, I, I, like, I always did eyeshadow. I always did the colors, but I never did lashes. So the lashes are definitely something I started doing once I started doing YouTube. So these big, gawky lashes that I'm wearing like and like I look back on like pictures that I took in that year and I absolutely hated my makeup that entire year because I was just trying to fit into something that I really was not like I mean I've always been over top with my eyeshadow and it was crazy I, I would never do nothing with my lips I would just put on like a nude lipstick and just go out the door that was my look and now I've just like toned down all of that like it's just like I just like for what like why why was I walking around with eyeshadow orange eyeshadow on okay just crazy like I love my station that I got on in the background like y'all see all them beautiful flowers like I I have bouquets of flowers all over my bedroom like now I moved to the a spare room upstairs and I turned it into an office so we call this the office now um yeah when I first started I was recording all of this mess in my master bed like in our bedroom like, Christian's trying to sleep, and I'm in the middle of recording a video or editing a video. And I remember just crying over these videos because it was just, like, oh, Like, it was so difficult. Oh, look at those new videos. Like, oh, Yeah, my eyelashes were terrible. And then I didn't even know how to, like, put them on. So they would, like, fall off in the middle of me recording, and I would have to go back and put them on. So I would end up with, like just chunks of freaking uh, eyelash glue stuck to my lashes like is it y'all that is the very first uh, tutorial one of my very first tutorials i posted here on my channel um it's just insane to just see like two years ago like I, that that person that i just watched i don't know her <laughs> I, don't, I don't know her who is she like 
and oh man just like i just remember being so frustrated about youtube and like if myself then could see me now like just like a glimpse into the future to be like look we hung in there we hung in there those times that we cried at 12 o'clock at night trying to upload to youtube those times when we didn't get the views we felt like we needed just look at us now <laughs> and this was when i would post a video and get like 10 views i mean I'm still getting like 10 views now, but I'll be proud of those 10 views now. <laughs> so I just want y'all to know, like I, I literally started from absolutely nothing when I did my YouTube channel. Like I was recording on this old ass Canon camera. Now I record on my cell phone because it's just so much more easier and a whole lot more portable. Um, I still use Kin Master for my editing though. Um, I remember my ring light was DIY. I made that freaking ring light out of like the rope christmas lights and a wreath like i saw a tutorial on it on youtube and at the time i really just didn't have the money to like buy all this fancy equipment um and even now like i do the bare minimum for equipment like as long as you can like my lighting is good like i was i, I really don't care about anything else uh, and my angles are fine i'm good for all of my day ones like isn't it weird to like see that version of me and then me now, like, isn't it weird? The most challenging two years of my life. <laughs> and then trying to learn how to juggle that with my regular life. And I'm still working my regular job. Like, like people think like YouTube is just like, oh, you, you get on there and you just like instant famous and you just like instantly quit everything and like just live off of YouTube. Like, no, I ain't there yet. Not saying I won't get there, but I ain't there yet. I don't, I don't make that kind of money yet. Not yet. <laughs> well, thank you guys for joining us on a, another video. We will see y'all tomorrow. The tutorials will be back. I just kind of wanted to try out this reaction video. I see a lot of people doing it. And I kind of wanted to react to myself because, you know, I'm self-centered. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we'll see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.